hey, we're back down here in the basement, and we're going to try to get a little more of this power washing done. Uh, I ain't done much at all since the last video I did. Um, yeah, it's been cold outside. Haven't felt like it on much. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and fire it up, try to get more of that uh, west wall done, and uh, hopefully get enough of it done that we can actually go in those other two rooms and finish those up. Uh, I got I got some I got most of the holes plugged in on them so or the one so uh, I'd like to start getting some wood down here and start getting some uh, some stuff done maybe get those two rooms finished and then get the stuff moved out of the big room into those small rooms and you know have a little bit of room to work but uh, so we're gonna try to get some of this done today uh, now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna record it I'm not gonna show you all the video of it uh, you know battery just runs dead. Uh, I'll probably show you a picture how far I get. Um, right now, it looks pretty much the same as it did at the end of the last video. So, we're going to try to hit it up, knock it out, at least hopefully some of it. Uh, it's warm enough outside that the heater ain't kicking on, so I don't have to worry about that. Well, there you go, guys. Basically, I got all that in here done. Uh, yeah, it's all above ground, so I'm not going to worry about the, what's left because it's it's all above ground where it's left guys but here's the corner back by the furnace got a little bit there that I missed kinda of hard to see back in there though because there's no light uh, <laughs> so you know I hit it with a preliminary hit and we got it fairly decently uh, still got a hit over here but most of this me and my boy scraped off years ago because uh, we were planning on doing it then but we were scraping it off and brushing it off and everything else so finished getting around the uh, furnace and everything else uh, I'm going to look in to see if uh, if that dry lock stuff will stick to this because uh, this paint's pretty thick and it's not wanting to peel at all I mean, I work at it, work at it, work at it, and get a little bit, but not a lot. Not a lot at all. So, we pretty much got, you know, you know, we got a lot to do. But if that dry lock will paint will stick to it and seal it, then I ain't going to worry about it. This is an inside wall. This is not a wall that's going to be exposed to the outside. Now it's not saying water can't sneak in through there because that corner right there that's on the outside that's the outside wall so of course water can sneak in right there at that corner and then I guess some of these blocks could fill up with water and then leak out onto the ground but again like I said we're having plastic sheathing down by the wall inside of the wood for the studs so, anything that comes in, drain right to the floor. It won't hit the wood. This basement's a mess because, you know, I gotta move everything out of these rooms so I can get stuff done. But, uh, basically, what you're looking at right there, once all this is moved back out of here and the walls are up, that's gonna be where my studio is. Uh, you know, that's what this, that's what this, you know, part of this is about. Most of it's about saving money by insulating these walls because this is a pretty huge heat loss down here. I mean, even now it's like 50 degrees outside or 60 degrees outside, and whew, whew, I can see my breath down here. That's partly because of all the water in the air because of running the, uh, the power washer. So whew, I'm sweating my butt off. Uh, that's going to be it for this video.